We have two applications for iOS and if you're looking at timelines, timelines lets you record um, with external devices, either audio or video, multiple angles, whatever. Um, this version is exactly the same in Android, iPad, iPhone. And what you can do is you can start off by hitting the plus sign and that'll add a button and a hotkey. The hotkey is for your keyboard when you upload it to the computer if you want to add labels or codes. And then you type in a name. So Q for question, I for interesting, Jones, J. Um, you can save those buttons. If you want to use them again, you enter your whole team. You don't have to enter them every time you record uh, video with them and code video with them. You can uh, save those buttons. And then the bottom right, it looks like a record button. You can hit that, and that'll start a timer. When you see Jones gets the ball or Jones asks a question, just tap them to start and tap them to stop. And if you just want to mark an instance, you can double tap it quick, and it'll throw up a short instance. And then stop your timer. And then what you can do is hit the envelope, and the envelope will allow you to mail out the timelines that you've just made. And we'll show you how they open in just a minute. So hit mail, send it to yourself, send it to someone else, send it to your whole group, whatever. And it'll be ready to open in VNote on our computer-based apps for Mac and for Windows. If you hit the X key, what that'll do is reset everything. And then you can hit the, uh, the download buttons, find your buttons that you've saved before, and they reappear. Again, you can delete everything and restart a project. Once you've sent the email to yourself, you can simply download the file. And when you do, it should appear in your downloads file. This will vary depending on your browser, of course. But when you open it up, um, it'll be there. And we will um, go into VNote started. Let's pull in this video. Once we pull in that video, we can actually um, import the labels and timeline that we just made, uh, that we just downloaded from our email. And we can uh, keep the other timelines if we've added some new stuff or not, whatever. And then we can just pull it up, and there it is. And here are the labeled timelines. These are the labels, and these are the labeled timelines that we've added. If you'd like to add notes, you can just double click and add notes. If you'd like to um, move them around or expand them, you're welcome to do that. If you'd like to copy them to another line, you can also add a new label um, and you know change it, make the hotkey what you will, so you can add things later. Also, if you don't have your video and your timeline synced up, which will likely be the case, in other words, you started your camera at a slightly different time as you started your um, timeline app, what you can do is just go to Timelines on the top menu. I'm going to mute that. Millis, uh, sorry, Edit Timeline Offset. And what you can do is you can shift it this way. And you'll see the timelines will move left and right with respect to the video. So that'll let you sync things up pretty well. Um, individually, if you don't have one synced, you made a mistake or whatever, or hit it too late, you can actually do you know, sliding things around and moving things around as well like that. So that's how that works. Um, that's uh, how our application timelines works. Uh, hopefully you'll give it a try and uh, find that it helps you when you're recording larger files where you maybe don't want to upload or maybe you've got multiple camera angles or an external recording device. So check it out.